Okay, so uh, rear naked choke. How and why we do it? Seat belt position. All right. So seat belt position goes in here. I lock everything in nice and tight. I'm gonna lift. I'm gonna pull. My heart's on the back of his heart. My head's on the next to his head. Obviously, I'm just practicing this at the moment. Um, if I can, I will be controlling this arm in tight. Holding it. Yep. He will probably have this tucked over the top of my arm stop me getting this arm out so easily um, if he's not very good at this point he won't be defending anything we're going to just imagine that you're not defending anything at the moment we're just going to go through the basic steps okay and then we're going to increase the complexes complex no complexity. complexity that's that's the one okay so uh, basic rear naked joke i get to this position what i'm going to do is my first thing is to control this hand and get my hook on the back of his shoulder. Now, to me, it doesn't matter what he does with his chin. If his chin is down, that still doesn't matter. I'm still just going to grab that shoulder. Okay. Um, I see lots of people trying to keep their chin down, and they're trying to drive their hands in here. The carotid arteries aren't here. The carotid arteries are here. So I've no need to worry about where the chin goes. And I just go from here, I go up and hook my arm on the back of his shoulder and I stick my fingers in the top of his scapula and hold really tight. Holding this arm now and holding this, if he tries to use his other arm to pull the, the, the top arm out and try and get it out there, it's difficult because he has to pull down through the hook that's on his, on his back. My head's next to his head, my heart's next to his heart. Okay? From here is the bit where it's going to be a bit of a race. So I'm going to let go with this hand and get my hand here as soon as possible. Now, this palm is facing towards the ground, this one is facing towards the ceiling, and I put them together in a palm to palm grip. Some people do this with their thumbs, some people don't do this with their thumbs. I don't care. What I really do is I just keep my head tight on the back of his head, and I push everything in this direction, and I start walking this up as tight as I can so that my forearm and elbow is in line with his spine. Alright? So the first choke that I always try is this inline choke. The reason for this is that he can't reach over and grab out this arm. This arm is really deep in my back. Once I'm in this position what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this shoulder back. So I'm going to do like do a seated row with my shoulder on my back. And I'm going to push my chest forward after it's nice and tight. I'm going to pull through his neck and get the tap. Okay? Um, sometimes they tap, sometimes they don't. If you're a big, strong guy and you've got a big chest, this is actually better than the rear naked choke. From here, if this isn't working, I still need to keep my, my head on the back of his head. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly turn this hand so that it faces my chest. Keeping the top hand facing my chest, so like a butterfly in tight bird thing, and then I slide this one up behind the back of his head. In doing this, it's not allowing my shoulder to go past his elbow or my arm to go past his elbow, so he can't do anything with that. So I go from here, turn my hand over, and I slide up and I grab my shoulder, still keeping my head tight on the side of his head. This one goes deep on this bicep, and I'm reaching for the shoulder here wrist forms a frame behind the back of his neck. Right? And now all I literally do is I'm going to breathe out and roll my shoulders back to get the tap. Okay? Most people will tap to that. Simple rear naked. So I go from my seatbelt position, I try and control an arm if I can, and then arms to come. Alright? I don't really mind how you do this. I like to go to like a Grip of it. This hand is going to get to his shoulder and I stick my fingers in the back of his scapula. My head stays tight, my heart is where his heart is. Okay? The race is to get this hand out and then once these hands are together I crawl them up, I try the inline choke first. Pulling my shoulders back, puffing my chest out to get the tap. If that doesn't work, I keep my 
head against his head. I'm going to dry my hands into the room and keep it warm. Alright, so that's the basic parts of the joke. What am I talking about? The fact that if he buries his chin in, it doesn't defend the choke. Well, to be honest, it really doesn't defend the choke if you do the rear naked properly. What I'm focusing on when I do the rear naked is to drive the elbow down onto his chest. Right, so when I get to this position, I'm going to roll this wrist forward and this wrist I'm going to kind of roll at the same time. All right? As I roll these two things forward, I'm forcing his head down and I'm forcing my own elbow down on the chest and then I'm pulling the arm up through his, through his neck. If he puts his chin down and hides it away, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull his chin until it touches here and then my bicep and my forearm are still going to hit his carotid arteries so I'm still going to get the choke. If my elbow touches his chest, then I can still get the choke out. It doesn't matter what level of defense he has in there. So we're going to start off with him getting his chin down. So he gets his chin down, his chin is completely buried in there. I'm going to roll everything forward and push my elbow down. I still get the tap. All right, his chin does nothing. His chin actually it makes it more of uncomfy for him. But I'm still hitting those carotid arteries. If you've practiced this, if I can get my elbow down, this doesn't matter if he gets both hands in underneath my arm. So if he gets his chin down and manages to get both his hands underneath my, my arm, as long as I can still drive my elbow down and roll up, I still get the tap. Because what I'm doing is I'm compressing his hands onto the uh, carotid arteries. So have faith in your rear naked. It doesn't have to be sunk underneath the neck. All right, look how good that, look at, um, I always say this name, Marcelo Garcia. He doesn't care if the chin's down. All he's worried about is getting that hand around to this side of the body. Okay. Once I'm in here, it's all about driving the elbow down, rolling the wrists forward, I use my head to drive the head forward, and then pulling that up through his neck to get the top. It works 99% of the time. Um, this is a guy against a person who doesn't really have a very good defense. So what we're going to do now is we're going to escalate the level of defense that Graham has got. Now, what a lot of people don't realize A lot of people don't realize is that one of the best ways for Graham to defeat the rear naked choke is just to bring both shoulders up. If he raises his shoulders, see how that's protecting his carotid artery. Okay, it's now difficult for me to get anything in there. I've got to start doing things to get into his neck. So, what I need to do in this case to work against his shoulders is I need to start to apply some level of pressure onto his shoulder. All right? So as I get my arm across his head, he'll raise his shoulders and I get to my inline choke. All right? His shoulders are the thing that are stopping the choke at the moment. I need to bring my elbow down the center of his shoulders. Using my head is really important. I push against his head. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my hands over to my rear naked and be, even if his shoulders fully lifted, all I'm going to do, he's got his chin in there and everything, I'm going to push the chin down and I'm going to rotate my chest forward, my, my hands forward. Okay, so the defences that are built within this are now slowly being broken down. We know what to do if his chin's in, we know what to do if he's starting to raise his shoulders. Alright, have real faith in, in the rear naked choke. It's the strongest move uh, or choke that I know from Matalion, it, it is great. So, from there, what about his other defenses? Well, one of the things that can happen when I go from here to here is that he can get both hands onto this, all right, and he can start to force his way in. I've got two choices from here. I start to either pummel in to take this off, yeah, which means it's going to be a race. He's going to get his hand up as I get my hand up. Or, once I, I allow him to get his two hands on this, and I get into my position at this point, I prefer to get to here. As 
long as my head's safely behind, behind him and my heart's safely behind him, I can kind of hold this for a moment. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to risk, I'm going to risk, and what do I mean by risk? I'm going to hit this top hand off. Yeah, there is a moment of risk because uh, really good guys, when I hit this off, will catch the wrist with the other hand. Yeah, and start to work in here. I'm going to start to swallow that arm off. Okay, so I need to be able to just take that hand off. Once I've taken that hand off, this carotid is now available. This hand doesn't matter anymore. All right, as long as I've taken this top hand off, he can no longer pull that forearm away from his neck. If he lifts his shoulders and pulls that forearm away, I no longer have access to the carotid artery on this side. I no longer have that choice. All right, so what I need to do is I get to this point, I make it as tight as I possibly can, and I hit the top hand off. When I hit the top hand off, slip into my rear naked, all right, he can pull as tight as he wants on the arm. He's actually helping me because he's driving the elbow down deeper onto his chest as I roll the wrists forward and pull that elbow back. Okay. So he's lost a level of defense there. Um, what a lot of people are taught right from the start is that as soon as someone takes their back, they will raise one arm around the head. Okay. This obviously stops the rear naked because I can't get it in here. I think BJ Penn teaches to actually rear naked himself. So he actually rear naked himself, which means that I've got, I've got nowhere to put my hands in. But let's just imagine I've got to...